I wish we had better intro music. What's up, guys? We're back again with another Hard Hit Series episode here on Let It Fly. Yep. You would hope. Yeah, um, that's. I I hope so. Not really sure who's pitching yet tonight. Um, no. Hopefully, you know LSU can throw their main guy. But like right before we came on here, we saw something that the dude threw two hundred forty three. Yeah, forty three pitches and two starts. Yeah, over nine days. So <laughs> it's not looking too good right now. No, to be completely it's... honest. But uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, yep. Obviously, Florida absolutely killed them yesterday, twenty-four to four. Um, it's got to be some sort of record somewhere. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it was the first time in College World Series history that they had a Grand Slam. Grand Slam, yeah, yeah. Which the conditions were probably just right for them. Uh, I mean, the wind was blowing out. I did did confirm that with somebody. So. Yeah. Hit a lot of home runs, scored a lot of runs. LSU was kind of down in the dumps. We'll see if they can bounce back tonight. Yeah. Uh, I mean, for what this college war series was, like for what it was this year and how the games were so close, uh, like throughout the whole – these 10 days, yeah. like I hope it, it just ends the same it way. Comes you down know? To yeah. The, yeah, yeah. I hope I mean, it's not a blowout because yeah. that would be a bad representation of how like the overall, overall, overall series went uh, Yeah, for sure. But I guess but, we'll see. I, I, mean, I hope he's a tight one. Are you going to go? I'm thinking about it. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to make it. But if you can, you should go because it will probably be good. Yeah. But um, transitioning into. Yeah. I mean, yesterday we touched a little bit about how social media can affect in a good way and a bad way uh, in the in the everyday of an athlete. Yeah. Especially uh, a college athlete. Especially college. And professional, obviously. Um, but like college now, you know, you have NIL, which is a big thing now. And I think social media plays a big part of that. Uh, I mean, at least for the bigger, bigger people with a lot of following, I mean, you see with like LSU, you know, they got Livy Dunn, who's making a lot of money and it's more because of her social media following than just her, you know, yeah, not not only her athletic performance. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, and with that comes a lot of. I don't know. I, w- I wouldn't say pressure, but it is, of, it, it is pressure and a lot of eyes and, um, you know, obviously expectations, expectations. That's yeah. what I was say. And everybody cares what you're doing all the yeah. time. Yeah. And like it's not anymore that they care only what you do on the court. They, you're going to, you're constantly being judged like lately because they know your situation. And, and of course, like the expectations, as we said before, like they out there, people, people expect some things from you, especially now with, with the NIL going on. So, yeah, it's rough. Yeah, it's definitely not an easy thing to navigate as a 19 through 22-year-old. Yeah, um, or even even younger, some of the guys, yeah. like some of the freshmen that, that that come out of the high school and they're like 17, 18. And, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing being, being like knowing how to manage that money too that, that comes in. Uh, I mean, especially like – like, if you got a lot of money coming in, uh, especially top prospect in football yeah, and basketball, right. that they got like a crazy amount of money coming yeah. in. Everybody wants to be your friend, and everybody wants to give you advice on how to manage that money. Mm-hmm. And like they gotta be careful, of course, that they they are not being taken care taking advantage, advantage of. of. Yeah, hundred percent. And like we kind of touched on a little bit yesterday. I mean, a lot of people from the outside looking in think that like college or professional athletes like. Obviously, like, we certainly care a lot about the sport we're playing, but, like, yeah. we have a life outside yeah. of outside of sports, and I think that sometimes gets lost um, from the average fan yeah. looking in. Yeah, I mean, um, we, we're we fortunate enough to, to do what we love, but it's it's not only that. Like, it's – it's life is, is just way beyond that sport. Yeah. So, like, that, and that's what – I don't know. It's for, – for most of the fans – oh, for a few section of the fans, I think they don't really understand that part, you know. Mm-hmm. Of course, we got a, a, a here creating like a great, great fan yeah, base. Yep. Uh, they always show love wherever we go to. Uh, I mean, you of course you always have like those little comments from yeah. burner accounts, yeah. and so yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, 
that's why during the season I just mute my social media. Yeah. Because, you know, you, that stuff definitely takes a toll on you. You definitely see it. And, yeah. I mean, at this point it is what it is. But um, Yeah. I yeah. mean, you have some people saying you got to be able to, like, let the noise of the outside don't let influence like whatever you're going through but i mean it, it's hard to do especially at this young age 100%. um i was even talking with dog mcdermott the other day before practice uh when he was over there and he was saying he said like he doesn't have twitter yeah. like he used to have it back when he was in college and same thing like he he used to go through and read some comments that would not be good for him and so he said like i don't I don't have Twitter, like, especially Twitter is such like a toxic environment. No, I agree. Uh, so, yeah, he said, like, I don't <laughs> I don't have it. And like he has Instagram and, I, and he said, like, I, I'm barely on it, too. So not not a big social media guy. I yeah, know. And that's I honestly that's like a common thing that you hear, like. The older people get, I mean, I know a few professional athletes who like they have social media, but they're not the ones who run it. Yeah. Like, they have people that run it for yeah. them so they don't have to look at it and don't have to deal with that just because social media is such a big it is uh, such a big thing. And, um, you know, being and having the platform you have, you can definitely gain, you know, a lot of um, following and a lot of money from that. But it also <clears throat> can be you are more exposed. They, yeah. Yeah. 100%, 100%. Yeah. So. I mean, with all that, I mean, obviously, you know, College World Series here being college athletes and just the uh, amount of attention that's been on them yeah. uh, this past 10 days obviously has been, you know, crazy. And I'm sure, you know, with each performance that someone does, you know, that's yeah. better and better, um, that only intensifies. And, you know, like there's a few guys here that, you know, I didn't really know about coming in and now mm – -hmm. Apparently they're you know projected top picks in the MLB draft, yeah. so um, they're going to be facing that same thing. Yeah, you know. It's yeah, I mean, like I can probably compare all the attention, like when we made it to the Elite A, how yeah. like you know there, everywhere we went during that week, it was just like people asking and taking photos and stuff like that. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah, like it's 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 really cool, <laughs> like how especially being at student athletes to get all this attention and. Yep. And be able to like inspire like the the next generation oh, of like athletes. Oh, uh, so it's it's really cool. That's why I love sports. Yeah. Uh, not just basketball. I just love them in general. Yeah. Hundred percent. But I mean, yeah, that's pretty much. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I mean, we'll see who wins tonight. Uh, and then after that, like we talked about yesterday, I mean, you got NBA Summer League coming up. Mm -hmm. If you're a sports fan, time to talk about soccer, and when that starts, but. Um, are you, you have a college football team, TCU. No, I mean, I was, yeah, probably TCU, my home frogs. I was, and how are they going to be this year? Uh, I, mean, I mean, it's, it, 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 yeah, I mean, they lost their Max, Max Duggan, yeah, and then their uh, Quinton Johnson, oh, yeah, yeah, the wide receiver, the wide receiver who was a first rounder. Uh, so I don't know, yeah. Always, yeah. always my frogs, though. Yeah, I guess we'll uh, see. I mean, I'm a Nebraska fan, obviously, being yeah. from Nebraska. And we haven't been good in the past who knows how long. So, got a new coach. We'll see how it goes. But, I mean, other than that. You had a new coach last season, and they made it all the way. I'm saying. That's why I'm hoping we have that type of luck. But yeah. how we've been the previous, we'll see what happens. But It's going to be interesting, I guess. It's going to be interesting. But, well, I guess that's all we got for you today. Um, we appreciate you joining us. And, I'm not sure when uh, we'll see you again, but like I said yesterday, I'm sure we will. So, until then, see you next time.